morning, friends. Lefty says good morning. Hi, friends. Okay, here we are. Project time. So, this is my diesel air heater. I really want to get this thing installed so that I can have consistent, safe heat in the truck. Now, when I opened up the box for this heater kit, I was presented with a bunch of parts and an instruction manual that some of the craziest English that I've ever read. The, the word rabbit is actually used in there. And I don't know what kind of translation resulted in the word rabbit. But anyways, very difficult to get my head around how this thing was to be installed. Looking back on it now, if someone came to me and said, hey, I want to install one of these heaters, can you help? Absolutely. They're very simple. They got air intake, they got an exhaust pipe, and they got a fuel line, and they got a control unit that plugs into them. Very simple to install. If anyone is going to work on one of these and you have any questions, absolutely reach out to me and I'd be more than happy to help. They're very easy to install. Rock solid operation. So I my vote is yes on installing one of these to give yourself some heat. What I've been doing is using my portable buddy heater. But I... I will not leave that running when I go to sleep. I I will not do it. So when we wake up in the morning, 5, 6 a.m., it's really chilly, and I turn that heater on and heat it up. So it's a, it's a constant, you know, heater is on, heater's off, heater's on, heater's off. The concern about the carbon monoxide. And if I get this, I shouldn't say if, when I get this installed, we're going to have safe, dry heat, no propane moisture, safe dry heat. Okay. So this is a rubber gasket. So these are the four mounting bolts. So I gotta drill this hole, drill this hole, drill a hole for the fuel line, and then four holes for that. And then this thing will suck right up against that wall. Nuts on the other side, it's gonna be real tight. And then on the other side of the wall, I got the exhaust pipe and the air intake pipe. I think this is exhaust actually, and this is air intake. And they have clamps, they fit tight, they have clamps. So there's gonna be no leaking. Right underneath this area, I have a whole wide open uh, area where there's, there's nothing. Um, so right here is kind of where the wheel well is over the back wheels. And it, it dips down right about here. And then this cabinet doesn't start till back here. So in between where the wheel well stops, the curve of the, of the tub and this cabinet, there's nothing. And you can see I've just drilled my holes using the template that they sent. So you've got this template here. I'll hold it up so you can see it. So you've got the two larger holes for the exhaust and the intake. And then the one, two, three, four mounting holes and then one of those two uh remaining holes is for the fuel um the fuel line input so i've just drilled the the four mounting holes one two three four here's the fuel inlet and i started pilot holes for these two larger ones and i'm gonna i'm gonna go with them with i've got one of these step drill bits and I'm gonna go at it. I have a one inch bore, but it looks like it needs to be about an inch and an eighth. So that's not gonna work. So I know this will chew through it, um, this, this step bit, this is pretty aggressive. So I'm gonna go at that now and within a few minutes, I should be able to actually mount this thing right in there. I am super excited that I got up onto the truck and finally figured out where the heck to mount this thing. So yesterday, uh, remember, we got these holes all drilled. So we've got the mounting holes, uh, the connection, the hole for the fuel line, and the hole for the intake and exhaust. Okay. 
now looking at the wiring so this thing came with a, a pretty robust wiring harness here so what we've got <clears throat> we have this main uh, harness connection off of the heater itself which is right there okay so that plugs in there okay so this came with a this has an LCD control panel and just because of proximity to where the heater is so I click, I'm gonna mount this right up here so it's gonna be next to my fan um, controller anyways the heater control panel I don't know maybe right there okay so this wire this plug goes right here to this one and then the remaining plug this goes to the fuel pump now the fuel pump is obviously under the truck I'm going to be mounting that today so I need this wire and this plug to pass through the floor and go down to the fuel pump so I've got two options my options are I drill a hole big enough to pass this plug through rubber grommet and then like silicone to seal the hole back up because that's pretty big that's that's almost an inch so it would have to be a it would have to be probably a little more probably an inch and an eighth diameter hole which is about the size of those two holes so I'd need a third one of those kind of off to the side over here my other option is I cut these wires drill a small hole feed the wire through and then reattach them solder them back and then the the last connection is going to be positive negative so the red wire it's got an inline fuse which is great it's got a ground ring terminal so I can ground that anywhere and then um, this power line the red I'm gonna have to get power down here and that I've got to figure out where I'm gonna pull that from so today is under the truck making connections running the fuel line the exhaust pipe and the air intake and getting this wire fed down through there for the fuel pump so I have it mounted in here uh, it is this is its location it is bolted in I did drill a hole and I did clip and then resolder the plug that goes out to the fuel pump so um, that I decided you know instead of drilling that large hole to pass the plug through I drilled a small hole put a rubber grommet in it clipped the two wires color coded them because they were both colored yellow so I color coded them so that I connected them back up so I have it bolted in um, I have the fuel line on I have the fuel pump mounted let me see if I can get under here and show you I do have a light under here so let's see if I can get the light a little bit better so you can see there where it's mounted there's the fuel line coming down here to the fuel pump which is right here so I've got to push it the rest of the way into its rubber isolator and then plug that I've got that plug just kind of resting on there then snap that plug in and that's the end of um, the fuel system um, I've got the fuel tank they included a, a fuel nipple um, there were two locations where you could mount it there's a flat spot there and there was a flat spot here so I decided to use this I drilled my hole and then I used the fuel line which I fed down through here and out the hole then I taped the nipple to that and pulled it pulled it back through 
got it threaded on there. There's a rubber gasket. There's a rubber O-ring on the inside and the outside under the nut. So that's that should be leak-proof, hopefully, if their system works. Now I've got to come over here. I've got this scoped out. I tested to make sure that the door can open all the way. So this is going to mount right here. And the door can open all the way without uh, touching the tank. So now I've got to drill. I've got to drill my hole right about here so the fuel line can pass into the cabinet. So it's going to be here. So the line's going to come down and kind of loop right into there. And then it will, um, it will come down and go through the the bottom of this cabinet and then connect right up to the fuel pump and that should be it for the fuel system. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mount, um, this is the exhaust pipe and that's the muffler right here. It's a cute little muffler. So the exhaust pipe, it's actually gonna come out right where the, the exhaust pipe for the truck is. It's gonna exit in the exact same area. So I'm gonna mount this muffler up under there somehow. It did come with a bracket and I've got other brackets in case I need a different shape. And then this air intake, this is just gonna um, really just kind of be tucked up behind there so that it always has fresh air. Um, it does have like a filter system in there, so that's good. Cause then the next step is to go into town and put some diesel out in the gas tank that we stuck on the back of the truck. Um, so this here, that hole I drilled, um, the, the fuel outlet that it came with had uh, two rubber O-rings. So one is on the inside, one's on the outside and they're squished in there. I've got it tightened up real good. You know, and I want to check the fuel line and make sure that everything I did with the fuel line is solid. I mean, I, everything's got clamps on it. Uh, that's locked, sorry. It's mounted as designed. Here, let me give you, so here's the little muffler. So you can see it's, it's solid. I've got it clamped right here. Uh, there's like an L bracket that I, I reshaped. So it is not going anywhere. Um, what I do want to come back and, and take care of, uh, if you can see, the exhaust pipe and you've got the fuel line and I'd like to put a heat shield around that fuel line only because it's within like three inches of the exhaust pipe now this is diesel fuel it's not explosive like gasoline um, so but I would like to put a heat shield around it so I'm gonna pick some up um, just some sheathing some heat shielding and put it around that fuel line uh, simply just to cover it um, and there's the air intake right there. And you can see I've got it clamped and mounted so it's not uh, moving. So I just spent some time wiring in uh, this power line. So I jumped onto the bus bar here. I've put a 20 amp inline fuse up through the, the loom hole up here and then jumping out. This is basically following the same path that the roof vent fan wires are. Uh, and then we're on down here. Um, this pad will go back up here uh, still. And then it jumps across. This is the only time I've had to run a wire on the outside. So I'm gonna put a, just a couple of holders up here. And then it tucks behind this uh, trim and then uh, it made it up to this red wire here. So, so I just tested, uh, I got my ground. I was able just to uh, put the ground wire right next to the heater itself, tested that and it's a good ground. And I just plugged it in and we have the control panel. Um, it's got Wi-Fi. All right, so now I got to read the directions on uh, how to run this thing. It's obviously off. Um, the booklet actually came with a 
a sheet that's specific just to the control panel and how to operate it. So I'm going to have to read this over. It's in English. Um, some of their graphics are right over top of the text. So you can see that there's like text missing in some spots. So hopefully it's not too involved. Um, and I can fire this thing up. So now I've just got to go get some diesel fuel. Oh, I still have to do the vent hole. Okay, so I've got to, uh, you can see where I mounted this. There's about a two inch gap here. It came with this hose that you could run. So I'm gonna get a, if I remember right, it's a two and a half inch bore. And I'll measure that and I'm gonna go pick up a, a, a drill bit, um, you know, a bore bit and I'm gonna knock right through here, stick this through, and if my measurements are right, I'm just gonna need an inch and a half of this tubing here, which will go from there to the inside of this vent. So a real short run out of the heater um, pushing the air right out into the room. And then for the intake back here, this is where the, the air comes into the heater and then it gets heated and then it passes out into the room. So this needs to always um, be able to pull in air from the room, which it then reheats and warms up even more. So I do have, uh, what I'm gonna add is, this vent, so I'm gonna knock a hole. Um, I'm gonna cut a hole with the jigsaw uh, into here, which will allow air to be drawn right back in um, to feed the heater. So we'll end up with this chrome grill. These I had from, um, they were from some of the outside cabinets that, I, that were no longer needed, so. Um, so I'll use that uh, that same bore bit and just, I guess, drill several holes there, which will allow the air. You can see that it's um, it's it's not the whole plate, but just these fins. So if I have, uh, let's say, you know, a hole and a hole, and then the same thing here, hole hole. So I can drill those through real quick and and screw this on. So. Very close to being done. Uh, it's powered up. It's sitting here waiting to be started. So um, I've got to finish these vents and go get some diesel and then we can turn her on. Okay. A lot of work here, but we're almost done. Good morning, friends. Lefty says good morning. We just came back from our walk. So yesterday, Oops, sunlight, sorry. So yesterday uh, we went into town, we stopped at the gas station and I put some diesel into the diesel heater fuel tank. So I didn't want to put too much because I, what I was doing is testing for leaks here. So you so know, I put in, um, it's about a third of a gallon, uh, maybe a little bit more, um, and it's been, uh, I did that at about 1 p.m. yesterday. So it's been about, what, uh, 17, 18 hours, 19 hours. And I don't see any leakage at all. So I, I'm thinking that, it, that it's sealed. Obviously, I'm going to keep my eyes on it. And so, and then once we, once we start the heater up and the fuel gets pulled through the fuel line, we're gonna, we're gonna trace the fuel line and we're gonna check all of the connections. Um, you know, the ones that are inside the cabinet here and then the ones that are up underneath that go to the fuel pump. So we wanna make sure that we're nice and tight and we should be. Um, the, you know, the fuel lines, the hoses were all new. The clamps were all new. I didn't have any problem 
installing anything at all installed pretty cleanly um, and there's nothing I don't have any areas of concern on the fuel line it, it looks like it's all going to be fine so I'm not expecting any problems but we're going to definitely check it over and keep our eyes on it so the other thing that that uh, I did yesterday when we were in town I picked up this um, uh, drill bore here um, you know we're going to Put the holes through the faceplate of the cabinet here. All right, so a little, little bit messy. I rolled the carpeting back here, and I just drilled through. One thing that I realized as I was starting to bust through, I put some tape over the the uh, nozzle of the heater so that all this um, sawdust didn't get in there. Uh, let's get this. Let's get the nozzle. Let's see how we did. Oh yeah. So that's gonna fit right in there. Uh, just, that's where it's gonna go, right there. And we'll take okay. and we'll cut a section of this hose that they included, and it will go between the heater and that nozzle. And we've got a couple of these large size hose clamps that'll go on there to secure it and then then we're gonna kind of right over here I think um, you know about 18 20 24 inches from the output we're gonna bore two more holes and then put this grill right here and that will allow fresh air intake Okay, it is mounted. So I got the two hose clamps on there. Took a little finagling to get it because I, I was off just by the slightest bit to one side, but uh, on the second attempt I got it on there. So it's, it's nice and solid. Uh, when you so at this point, we can start it. So if I do this, it just clicked on. The fan indicator is rotating. I hear it blowing. Um, I don't hear the fuel pump yet. Glow plug indicator is lit. So I'm trying to see if I shouldn't be hearing the fuel pump at this point, but I'm not. So, you know, the fuel lines were empty, so it's got to suck a bunch of fuel. Fuel pump just stopped. Hmm. All right, I need to figure out. Tried restarting it again. I went out to the fuel tank. I wanted to make sure that we were getting fuel. I've got warm air coming out. I can hear the engine, I can hear the combustion, it changed the sound. It's running, yeah. Okay, on the control panel. 
So right here, it'll it'll show a. You can see it here where they show like the rainbow. It goes from cool to warm. Okay, it's running. Yeah, and I can smell diesel. Oh yeah, can you hear it? It's running. It is running. And we've got warm air blowing. Holy smokes. Success. Oh, yeah, she's cooking now. Oh, it stinks. Whew. Okay. Yep, we are running. I can see the fuel in the line. Okay. Yeah, from what I understand, this is the ramp up, like, as it gets cooking. See, I took the cap off here. I had a feeling that maybe there was vapor lock. There is a relief hole in here. So I'm going to put the cap back on and see if it doesn't keep running. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's hot exhaust coming out of there, for sure. Oh yeah, it's cooking now. Wow. How do you turn the temperature down? <laughs> wow. Success. We've got a heater. Yeah, so it's cycling down now. Yep. Okay, so the fan has slowed. I can start to hear the tick of the fuel pump again because the fan has slowed down. Holy moly. So obviously I want to understand this control panel and I want to run I want to run this thing a lot so that I become comfortable with it before I decide to go to sleep with this thing right under my butt. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to look into getting some instruction on this control panel, and and uh, I'd say we're at success mode here. Okay, friends. Super great diesel air heater.